Okay, David, welcome to Norwich City as the new head coach. Um, how does it feel to be unveiled uh, today? Yeah, obviously it's something very special for me uh, to be here in Norwich, to be back in England. Um, everything come, came very fast uh, and it's very exciting. And as you say, it's happened quite quickly. You haven't had a great chance to see Carrow Road or the, the lowest training centre as yet, but what have you made of the facilities and, and around the football club? To be fair, Carrow Road, I've seen or host, uh, I don't know, it was four years ago, five years ago, we played here once uh, with my, one of my former, former clubs, Huddersfield. Uh, you battered us that day as well. We'll talk about that in a little while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, not too bad. You. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and uh, I was at the training facility uh, already. It's, it's top. Uh, very, very good. Uh, I'm very happy what I've seen so far. And are you pleased to be back in English football, as you said, because you've, you've been around the world managing elsewhere, but you had real success here in the UK and in England in particular. So is it good to be back here? You know the leagues well? Yeah, obviously the English leagues uh, are proper. So to be fair, everybody in Germany or in Europe speaking about English football, it's, it's something special. It's something special in terms of the atmosphere in the stadium, uh, how the supporters support their club. They really support it, uh, especially here with their heart, mm. uh, the style of football. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite more tough and, 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 and rough maybe compared to, let's say, in Spain or even in Germany. Uh, and this is exactly this, this um, aggressive uh, style which you can see here more often uh, suits for sure uh, to me. And that's something you're well aware of and, and the fans and, and UK fans will know you best from your time at Huddersfield and the success you had there. Just, just tell us again about that because you obviously got promoted to the Premier League and you spent the year in the Premier League as well with the success that you had. Yeah, at the end of the day, it, it was an, an, an unbelievable story. Some, some people call, uh, called it a miracle, what it maybe was. Uh, we, we brought a lot of things together, a lot of things clicked together at this period. But to be fair, um, even if it was a great uh, journey, a great success for sure as well, if it's in the past, it's in the past. So uh, in football, you have to move on, you have to crack on. You have to have a, uh, to accept your new challenge, uh, what I did here uh, in Norwich. And this is why I'm so exciting to, yeah, to show again, to prove again uh, what we are all together capable of. And every manager will have a style of play. And, and Norwich fans, I think, are very forgiving in terms of results at times. Of course, we all want success. And when Norwich have had success, as they have done in previous years, recently promotion, relegation, promotion, to the Premier League, expectations change. And the expectation is that Norwich should be up challenging for the Premier League again this season. That's clearly why you've been brought in. I'm sure the conversations you've had with Stuart and, and everybody else is the fact that promotion to the Premier League is the aim for the end of the season. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Obviously it is. But I think it makes no sense to look too far ahead. Now uh, we dropped out of the top 10. So uh, we are in the position to hunt, uh, to hunt for the top 10 to hunt for the top six, to hunt for promotion. And uh, what is important is that you take everything step by step. And it could be uh, quite exciting to be a hunter. And this is what we are now, up to now. I think it, it's important to, to, f to really finish what was in the past, to, to take a throw uh, uh, under the line, uh, what was in the past, to really look forward. And we all together know that we like to and we have to win football matches for sure. This is for sure. But I think the first and most important thing is that you have to perform because I'm a strong believer as better as you perform, as more consistently as you perform, as bigger is your chance to get a result. And uh, this is what we have to do. And obviously we can't do it by our own. That is always the case. Uh, if you like to have success, you only can do it. Uh, as a group, as a group of players, as a group, as a backroom staff, as a group, uh, as a football club in general. And obviously, a uh, big and huge part play always the supporters. Uh, I have never seen a football club being successful where there was no connection between the supporters and, and, and the players and, 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 and the football club. And this is what for sure what we need. And uh, I invite everybody to help from his position, me as a manager, the players as players, uh, 
backroom stuff as backroom stuff. We are all together are important and especially the supporters in the stands. And that will be music to the ears of the Norwich City fans, I know, because there has been disjointed between the fans and the players and the staff in, in recent times. So that's something you clearly want to rebuild because when there is success, as you said, the success you had at Huddersfield was built on a good team, but also the support behind the scenes and that togetherness, that feeling of togetherness from everybody within the club. Yeah, for sure. But as I said, what was in the past, leave it in the past. Now it's look forward. We know exactly all together. Uh, we uh, in the offices, the players on the grass and for sure the supporters, they know exactly what they have to deliver to be successful. And now it's up to us, everybody on his position to do it as soon as possible. Because for sure, we don't have massive time, even if we have a little bit time. Uh, the next game is just around the corner. Uh, the games will come thick and fast and now it's up to us, uh, come together, be strong together, accept everything what happens because uh, what I can promise is that everybody will work as hard as he can. And uh, like I always said, I know if you work, you get a reward. If you work a lot, you get a lot of reward. And what we like to do is we will work a lot. Yeah, Norwich fans will love to hear that. And you mentioned before there's two clubs in particular you've always kept your eye on in the championship and that's Huddersfield and Norwich. So, so why the connection between those two? Why always Norwich? Obviously you've got a, a big relationship with Stuart Weber. Yeah, obviously uh, he opened uh, me the door to join Huddersfield uh, together with Dean Hoyle, who was the owner at this time, um, to, to get the chance in English football. And, um, but it was not only him, uh, it was, I, I worked with a lot of the German players who, who were here in charge. So Mario Fungit was my player in Dortmund's second team. Simbo was my player. Moritz Leitner, Stiepermann, they all played for Dortmund. Obviously, Christo Mogala was uh, in my backroom staff uh, when, when, when I was in Dortmund's uh, second team, the manager of Dortmund's second team. So I, there are a lot of uh, uh, crossroads which I had with people who are uh, employed or were employed in the past uh, at this football club. And this is why I really followed this football club in, in recent years. Uh, this is the reason for. And is, there, is that uh, an area you, you would hopefully look at to tap into again because your connections you have with Borussia in, in, in the past and, and your connections you have all around the world, I presume, because you've made with players? Yeah, listen, I think... Uh, ha and um, Norwich has done a, a, a quite good job in the past. So I think they signed a lot of uh, very good players. They sold a, a lot of very good players as well. Uh, obviously, um, I have knowledge about the European market. If uh, the recruitment department, uh, Stuart or whoever, uh, likes to get my thoughts on board uh, regarding some players, um, I will help for sure. I will recommend the one or other for sure because if you have knowledge, why don't use it? So this is how we always worked um, in, in, in football, because at the end of the day, we all together like to have the best possible player at this football club, uh, the strongest possible squad together to be successful. And, and what have you noticed about the squad they have currently? You know, you've obviously kept an eye over Norris City. What have you made of them so far this season? Where do you think things can improve or where are you looking to improve things? There must be a, probably a change of style to the way you would, would set a team up. Yeah, listen, I think... Uh, Every manager has a different approach. So uh, I like this high intensive, aggressive football where you are brave and uh, chase, <laughs> chase, chase opponents, uh, don't care too much about, uh, even if you have to respect and we will do for sure uh, the opponent, but um, look after yourself, home or away, try to play your football. This needs work, it doesn't come by night. Uh, we have to work on the training pitch and in a lot of video meetings for sure as well. But this is uh, why I got hired, uh, because uh, I said this is the football I love, this is the football I like, that my team will play. And I've seen enough that I'm sure we have the players, the individuals and, 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 and the mentality to do it. Uh, as I said, it needs time, we have to work, we have to work a lot. Obviously, Confidence isn't at the highest when you are uh, not winning football matches as you expected to do. But this is something you only can change on the grass. That was my next question in terms of their confidence. Because when you're, things aren't going so well as a player, the, the Norwich in a position at the moment where home form hasn't been great, that needs rebuilding. That confidence needs rebuilding because everything in life is a confidence, isn't it? You know, you, you, where you play, the way you think, it's all controlled by your confidence. And if you've got a good group of confident players, results tend to come a little easier. Yeah, this is correct. But uh, on the other side, uh, you know, 
you have space to improve, uh, massive space to improve. And if you have the willingness uh, to work, if you have the willingness to maybe change a little bit of uh, the approach, maybe change a little bit uh, of your mindset, um, then this will happen. So I invite everybody and uh, this is what I said to the players as well, um, to leave their comfort zone. Because if you like to have success, you normally will not get it if you do your normal routine. Take you, off the comfy slippers, that's what I keep saying. <laughs> oh, another English phrase. So. <laughs> Thank you for this. No, uh, seriously, I think if you like to change your borderline, you have to leave your comfort zone. You will not change your borderline if you always do the same. And uh, this is why, uh, or that this is um, where I will invite everybody uh, to leave his comfort zone. I will support everybody to leave his comfort zone, but it will be painful in the one or other moment. This is the truth. But on the other hand, if you get the reward, everybody likes to do it because we started to love and to play this football game because we enjoy it. Uh, and this is what we have to do. And just tell us a little bit about the team you've brought in as well. Christoph Bulli, you've worked with a lot before, at the, most clubs you've been at. And, and Andy Hughes as well, who's actually one of the positions at Norwich City at the moment, but you know him from your, your time at Huddersfield. Yes, uh, this is correct. So uh, another topic which uh, came to my eyes when uh, I thought about Norwich was there are already some people here in charge, which I know very well. Uh, Andy Hughes is one of uh, them. Uh, he is the loan manager here at the football club. I like to bring him back into my backroom stuff because he knows me inside out, what is important for me. The same is for John Eiger, who already is here in charge. He was my head of uh, performance when I was in Huddersfield. So uh, we don't even have to speak what is important for me. They know it already. And I think because our uh, time frame is so tight, uh, it's important that we don't lose energy in uh, in terms of loss of translations or what did he mean? Uh, they can easily explain to the one or other if it's not sure uh, what I meant. And this is why I think it's very important to, to have people on your side, not where which you can trust. In general, I love to work with people and get known uh, on new people as well. But uh, when you have the chance to get some people on your side who are already in, already in charge here at this football club, who knows you inside out, uh, I think this is very helpful to make it work very quick. And, and does this feel a little bit like a home from home then? You're the players, the people you've mentioned, because <laughs> you know, it certainly helps you, it? because the expectation is that you've got to hit the ground running, isn't it? Because we're halfway through a season. Yeah, obviously this is uh, the expectations and uh, I think it makes sense to face this expectation. But I think, as I said, don't look too far ahead. Make sure you wake up in the morning, leave your ego in the car park, do your work and try to perform and to improve and to develop. And then uh, uh, the results will come. Uh, we will work for it for sure. Uh, but I think it makes no sense to, to look too far ahead. It's about the next training. It's about the next game, uh, the next win. As I said, come back where we like to uh, be. Uh, Top 10, top 6, promotion. Obviously, this is what is in our head, but don't look too far ahead. Make sure that you make it step by step. For you now, I suppose you can't wait to get onto the grass. That's, that's where you like to do your work. All this talking to people and saying all the right things that everybody wants to hear, but it's down to getting on the grass and working with those players to, to, to earn their trust, essentially, because they're the ones that together are going to get Norwich back to where we all want to be. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is part of the business, uh, meeting you, speak with you. I like it. <laughs> no, but uh, seriously, I, I, it's part of the business, but um, I'm a coach, I'm a manager. I like to be in touch with my players. I like to be on the grass. I like to uh, find an idea how we can beat opponents. Um, this is um, what I really love. And uh, how will it feel to be unveiled uh, at the game, the first game for you against Blackburn in the Cup at the weekend? Is that is something you're really looking forward to? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, but to be fair, who it will be in which competition, I don't care. Uh, if it would be in the championship against another opponent, uh, I would be uh, as excited as I'm now for, for Sunday's game. Uh, obviously, Cup is always nice, uh, especially FA Cup, oldest competition in the world. So uh, nice to be back, to be involved, and I'm looking forward to it. Great. And one thing I can guarantee you, if this style of football isn't always winning, but it looks good and, and fans are excited by it. I guarantee every single supporter in Norwich City and the fans and the supporters and the staff behind the club will be totally behind you. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.